Hello and welcome to my channel Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang. And today we will be clearing any subversion from hybrids. This is uh, quite important, you know, this clearing of hybrids. Um, because uh, most of um, you that are watching this video probably have been the victims of it. And I'm definitely not preaching paranoia. <laughs> no, this is actually for your healers. You know, and um, you know, advanced meditators. You know, so for you it may make sense. And you know, um, I will be um, explaining some things to create the background. I will be talking from my own experiences. I have done thousands of past life regressions. You know, over more than three decades now. And so I came to my own conclusion. And of course, I also studied um, a lot of Hindu scriptures. You know. And um, so I translate this um, kind of content also in, into present time. You know, it's kind of the ancient astronaut theory. Well, you know, I mean, I've studied this very, very deeply long ago before this became cool. So, um, first of all, you know, in so many lifetimes I come across where we having um, Atlantean priests and priestesses, you know, uh, or other highborn beings that get abducted and kidnapped um, by the Alpha Darkonians. So in the huge um, Hindu epic, the Ramayana, you know, um, there is a green um, alien, you know, which is Ram, and his um, female consort Sita is being kidnapped by an Alpha Darkonian called Ravana and deported to his stronghold in Sri Lanka and a huge battle ensures about this. There are all kinds of um, extraterrestrial weapons, you know, and, and feats, you know, actually abnormal feats are being performed. Um, these things can also be explained by high dimensional space and higher technologies. And so some of you may know about this. So I've come across this a lot that, um, you know, um, very exceptional people have been kidnapped by the Alpha Darkonians. You know, there was kind of a warfare going on many times between the Atlanteans and Alpha Darkonians, but, you know, the Alpha Darkonians, you know, have a reputation of kidnapping people. So what happened to them? They land up in vets uh, many times. I mean, some of them maybe become food. And uh, they are being held there through some kind of a technology and experimented on, tortured and whatever, or kept as a sex slave. And the problem is they're not only suffering there for a long time, um, it also bleeds over into the other incarnation. You know, so this soul fragment is trapped. <laughs> it's screwed. It's, uh, so, um, you know, um, they can be liberated. Um, and um, reintegrated, and you know, this always results into uh, you know a spiritual upliftment, you know, in my clients. So um, this is the principle that I'm aware of, and I've also come across um, you know um, Atlantean scientists, um, you know, in past lifetimes, of course, that started out good, and then you know they um, created weapons of mass destruction. You know, the, the Atlanteans, you know, in sometimes uh, were on the dark side or there were dark factions and attacking the Lemurians, you know, fighting with the Nagas and, you know, <laughs> and other races, you know, basically turf wars. And some of them were really unnecessary and instigated by the Alpha Darkonians. Again, I know this from past life regressions. So, uh, and then I also have come across, I always ask, you know, how come this person, you know, went to the dark side? It's an important lesson for my client, and you know, I'm curious too, and I do my research too. And um, so I've come across um, the answer that um, mind technology was used by the Alpha Darkonians. The Atlantean didn't have a chance, and of course it always helps in the highest case courts of divine justice calling this in and quoting and hey, you know, this is illegal technology has been used, so that helps a lot clearing this. So, um, 
Uh, they, basically, um, what are my point is that for thousands and thousands of years, um, there has been technology through which the mind could be controlled. You know, the Manchurian candidate, so to say. You know? <laughs> and um, uh, so, you know, don't think uh, that, you know, the other races have been behind, you know, on a steampunk level. Mm -mm. Also, um, another thing I have come across is, I mean, you probably all know this if you know a little bit about, you know, the grace and so on, that they can, um, you know, take astral bodies out of the physical bodies and transfer them into other bodies. You know, like um, clone technology, you know, a la Avatar. And, you know, there are... Um, you know, also other transfers possible, generally into clone, you know, sometimes you become a cyborg, you know, or used on other uh, machines, you know, it depends on what they stick your spirit into. And, um, and you know, also you can be incarnated into a species like this. You know, you grab the soul and you raise it as one of your own, you know, and, you know, you are a divine being and you grow up in a demoniac society and, you know, take over their values and, you know, brainwash like everybody else, you know, and maybe try to become a hero in, in their eyes and, you know, get uploaded with lots of karma. You know? Also, these aspects can be used, you know, to attack you. I mean, they can attack you, not knowing that you are an aspect of their own soul. Not knowing, you know, not knowing yeah. this, because they have been uh, conditioned. You know? Also, um, you know, through um, this person, you yeah. know, your soul can be, uh, um, set, you know, um, your aspect can be, uh, accessed, you know, uh, there is a bleed over mm -hmm. um, from this race, then because there is a similar genetics there, you know, and they can access you. There is a bleed over from this. So I know about this principle too. So I call this forced incarnation, you know, and that's of course also illegal, or it is something that has to be specifically addressed. Another thing to understand is that the grays, you know, um, and of course it's a very general term, you know, let's, but you know, the grays in general um, can attack your memory. You know, whether um, it's telepathically, you know, if they have a soul, um, because they operate tele telepathically, and for them you're telepathically kind of dum dums. <laughs> You know, or they have technology that enhances, you know, their abilities, or they just use synthetic um, technology. I've had a case um, where I um, regressed a person that was abducted by Grace, and as soon as we got closed, um, they started shutting down my memory. You know, I couldn't even remember what I was doing there, you know, what I was dealing with. And so I started invoking, um, you know, the uh, protection of the lions. Um, you Hindus may know a lot in Singh Hadev. So we go way back. <laughs> and, um, but then, you know, I just got half through the mantra. You know, again, they stopped my memories. And I did this mantra for hours and hours and hours for a long time before. I mean, this is something, you know, that was ingrained, you know, and then I started over again, and I got a quarter through, you know, and then I realized, you know, where this was going, and I just called on, on the name, and bang, you know, they just backed off, and they had access, you know, I mean, they're backed off. Just the name of, let's say, Archangel Michael, Jesus, you know, God, Source, you know, uh, or to help, <laughs> you know, probably will do. <coughs> you gotta authorize the divine beings, you know, to assist you. Okay. <clears throat> um, so they can definitely mess up your memory. You know? So I've been there, you know, and I've fought it. <laughs> and uh, another thing that you should know, you know, that um, humanity even has synthetic 
telepathy. You know? um, comes with a microwave. Um, you know, they figured out long ago, you know, when you turn on the microwave um, transmitter, um, you know, it made a certain click, you know, that you heard in your mind, you know, and they took it from there, you know, and of course, you know, synthetic telepathy exists, you know, so thoughts can be projected into your mind. And so this can be used against you, you know, unless you're an experienced meditator, you know, and then look, hey, what's behind this, you know, how does this feel like, you know, and is this something strange, you know, you as an experienced meditator, you may, you know, figure out what's going on, you know, otherwise, uh, yeah, you might be, <laughs> you know, screwed or like, hey, you know, what is going on, and so, you know, and then the other thing, let me just cycle back to the forced um, incarnation. And this is, of course, super woo-woo. But, you know, uh, some of this stuff may just resonate with you. And this is what I'm doing. Yeah. So, uh, one of my clients, you know, had a gray incarnation. And that was used, you know, to attack this client. You know, the, this client has many psychic gifts. And so, and then, so, of course, none of the protection, which was like always outward directed, you know, worked, you know, because it could bypass. And so this one had to be, of course, cleared. And um, so, actually, the same client, you know, his high self or her high self, let's keep this anonymous. <laughs> um, you know, wanted me to update you know, our prayers, you know, to, you know, include, you know, or to take care of, you know, these exceptions, you know, these weak spots in our prayers, you know, so the dark side, you know, cannot get around this. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, my client, she thought she had gone down the deep end, you know, whereas in my eyes, you know, her high self was just talking shop with me. <laughs> So, um, you know, this is why I'm using this video here. And um, sorry about uh, my not so fancy backgrounds anymore. You know, I um, all of my people that I know, you know, their stuff starts breaking down. I am no exception. And if somebody, you know, I mean, I've been using Vegas Pro 17 and, you know, it stopped working and I tried everything, you know, so... Uh, Somehow I have to use this you now on a much older uh, version and no fancy background. Sorry, I have a good computer. But for right now, you know, this is just to get the message out. So, um, you know, get ready to um, do the guided meditation. You know, this is going to be very clearing for you. So, I mean, don't drive. You know, it's like drinking. You know, if you listen to this while driving, you know, this is going to space you out. Not so good. Mm -hmm. um, if you can sit in um, an office chair, you know, this is you know, for most people on the long term more comfortable you know, than the lotus position or the cross legged position, so to say. Mm -hmm. And smile. Mm -hmm. And um, Let's just um, do an invocation, you know, it's always a good idea. First of all, smiling is always a good idea. You know, when you approach divine beings, you know, you don't want to come up there with a tough face. <laughs> so smile and, um, you know, we ask that everything that happens in and from this uh, guided meditation and this information here is for your highest good and divine harmony with the most brilliant outcomes. You know, you only accept that what resonates with you and is accepted by your high self. Amen. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, um, you know, put your tongue to the highest point in your palate and uh, smile and start and imagine that you inhale through your right leg in, um, from the earth into your leg into your spine and then all the way up your spine into your brain on the inhale and on the exhale you send it all the way down into the earth you know basically scrubbing that pathway start breathing 
And then we ask the spirit guides to start clearing any resistances and obstacles, any dark magic, dark technologies, entity attachments, and trauma from there. And also any Jin energies. Mm -hmm. Clear, clear, clear for the highest good, of course. Amen. And by now, yeah, you probably feel a little lighter, feel a little upliftment. Mm -hmm. It takes about five seconds for your intent to kick in. All right. And probably your right arm is starting to buzz. And now start inhaling through your left leg, back and forth, again, all the way into the brain, just like Snapples. Smile in that way, the good chi comes to you. Mm -hmm. Good. And many of you probably feel tingles. That's always a good omen or a sign that you are in higher vibration, that there is more chi in this area, more life force in this area. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, and um, now imagine that the Milky Way galaxy, this super divine conscious smart being is at your ceiling because on the astral you know level uh, distance doesn't really matter mm -hmm. you can smile put your tongue to the palate and start pulling her love through your crown through your spine all the way to the coccyx and then flush it up basically you get a nice spiritual enema there mm -hmm. from heaven energy so clear, you know, your spine mm -hmm. from all obstruction there. And again, we give our high self and our spirit guides permission, you know, to just start clearing them, you know, whether it's black magic or trauma, maybe broke her back. Mm -hmm. or, uh, let's thought forms, you know, spells, curses, maybe even vows, you know, whatever it is, dark technologies. Mm -hmm. Gin energy. Please find our move on Cleol and continue to finish. Amen. 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 Keep breathing through. Yeah, now the results start kicking in. Keep on smiling. Keep on smiling and deep breathing. You want to hear the air flowing through your nostrils. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my noise suppression is taking my breathing out, and of course, I'm talking here all the time. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. And um, now um, start pulling the love from Milky Way Galaxy and Mother Earth into your heart. Mm -hmm. And accumulate this love there. Mm -hmm. Just be greedy. You know, I mean, it's healing medicine for you. Very good. And keep on smiling. And we are dressing now. Um, first of all, absolute source. I mean, absolute source means nobody higher, more original. You know, and the root cause of everything, the origin of everything. You know, some people say God, but there's uh, too much negative connotations and pre, you know, preconception with this. Mm -hmm. And we also, you know, our spirit guides and our um, our own high self, you know, the divine wisdoms of us. You know? So we address them now as the humans, and uh, we do not consent to any lower vibration entities or energies, cords, or their jinn attachment of any of the following dark races, or their hybrids, including the Anunnaki, the Draconian, the Reptilians, the Greys, or any combo of the above mentioned being. This also includes Alpha Draconian human hybrids. The hybrids of Luciferian races. The hybrids of Manimalan races. Or the hybrids of the Manimalan human hybrids. You know, so here we are very specifically, you know, addressing you know, um, uh, very specific you know, entities 
and so you ask the light to have this cleared now. Um, uh, um, keep on smiling. Mm -hmm. We are also adding now here in our intent, and this also applies to the buildings, cars, homes, and any other surrounding we may be in during this incarnation. Previous incarnations and or future incarnations and also include any fragments of our spirits, you know, soul fragments previously mentioned, you know, in accordance, you know, with our highest purpose, our divine purpose, our highest timeline, you know. We asked also that our highest level astral bodyguards and, and you know, our entire astral projection team, you know, be cleared and healed and updated, uh, you know, from these influences. And make this a permanent change across all incarnations, all timelines and all related instances of our incarnations. And so it is. Um, and now smile and ask your own divine guidance, your own highest self. Um, have you been um, incarnated as a gray or as a gray hybrid? and are affected uh, by their bleed over and their gin energies and cords, yes or no? Mm -hmm. And we, if you got a yes, you know, we asked for a clearing. Mm -hmm. Of course, only for the highest good. Amen. And this may take some time, so um, let's also ask, um, do you have incarnated as a Draco or as a Draco hybrid and suffer therefore from bleed over their gin energies and their cords, yes or no? And we also have that cleared now. Amen, amen, amen. Have you been incarnated into reptilian hybrids or reptilians and are suffering a negative bleed over or the gin energy or cords? Yes or no? Aha, uh -huh. you like to have that clear too on all levels and all timelines, of course, for the highest good. Amen. Now, are you um, affected by dark Anunnaki bleed over or dark Anunnaki hybrid bleed over their gene energy and cords? Yes or no? And we ask that to be healed and cleared. And if there's any problems, take it to the highest courts of divine justice. Amen. Are uh, you having dark um, bleed over from the dark Nordic races or hybrids or their gin energies and cords? Yes or no? And you like to have this clear too, you know, um, throughout all our incarnations, if it's for the highest good. Amen. Are you incarnated in any other dark races or their hybrids and are suffering from a bleed over? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Like gin energy and cords. If you got a yes, we like to have this cleared now as much as possible. Amen, amen, amen.
Now have you been um, incarnated or used like as a super soldier type slave? Mm -hmm. And uh, have a bleed over, trauma bleed over from this. Mm -hmm. And maybe bring uh, dark programs over, you know, like split subpersonalities. Um, yes or no. Mm -hmm. And we like to have this all cleared, especially the gin energies programming and courts and also all the booby traps around this and alarm system and beings that are responsible. For this, uh, that um, violated the law of free will, uh, brought to the highest courts of divine justice now. Amen, 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 the whole chain of command. Amen, amen, amen. Do you have aspects that are stuck in sex slavery? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, in, you know, in clone bodies. <laughs> Um, you know, or, you know, in abducted uh, bodies and then suffering, you know, um, due to this from their gene energies bleed over the trauma and cords. Yes or no. Mm -hmm. And guilty beings, you like be brought to the highest courts of divine justice. You know, slavery is definitely a huge infraction on free will like to have these aspects liberated and of course all the energies courts and conditioning cleared and the trauma cleared. Amen. 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 Now, um, <laughs> you know, some humans um, or their clones are be used, you know, or other aspects of you, and it doesn't have to be humans necessarily, mermaids, um, Dolphin aspects, you know, all kinds of forms, life forms, you know, were kidnapped and then, you know, they or, you know, their clones were used, you know, um, in a guinea pig type slavery, you know, for experimentation mm -hmm, of all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And so we like to have, you know, perpetrators brought to the courts of divine justice and also the gin energy courts trauma and the bleed over cleared from our soul. Amen, amen, amen. And we ask this, all these entities, you know, from the dark side, um, that, um, you know, manipulated us, that did interdimensional travel for nefarious purpose to humanity, you know, they broke the cosmic law, and we asked that they all be taken to the highest courts of divine justice now. And we asked that all their manipulations and obstacles placed by them into our spiritual evolution be cleared now, you know, throughout all creation times and dimensions, and of course also the technology, you know, through which this being achieved. Amen, amen, amen. And I strongly recommend that you agree with this. Smile, nod your head, and you know, project love as much as you can. The more love you project, the more powerful your intent is, fortunately. So you may feel, you know, quite some strong sensations now, <laughs> like tingling. Some of you, you very radiant. Mm -hmm. And for some of you, uh, there may even tears flowing from your cheeks. Um, depends, you know, it can be love, you know, it can be strong emotions. Um, Just smile and breathe. Focus on your heart. And breathe into this love in your heart. And now we thank all those beings that came and helped. You know, um, the heavenly beings, you know, the assistance that we have on the other side. They have a lot of work to do now. <laughs> going through all those timelines, mm -hmm, negotiating, etc. Of course, they are beyond space and time, and I think they love to do this. 
don't feel guilty you know they're all interested on in seeing you know um, this um, earth you know going into 4d and 5d and maybe even 6d you know so the more you can help with this you know the more their benefit you know everybody wins with this mm -hmm. so uh, do not feel guilty mm -hmm. And now we asked our spirit guides, high self and source, and the beings of love and light that are expert at this and approved by our high self, to please, you know, bring any soul fragments, you know, that can be reunited with our soul, you know, bring them together now and reintegrate them with us, for the highest good, of course. And once they're reintegrated, updated, Update us on all levels of our being, even throughout all the different timelines. And then charge us to our tool energy levels with the latest updates and then protect these energies so they cannot be stolen or corrupted or in any way manipulated by the service to self beings. And then keep us protected so, you know, we and guided so we make maximum spiritual advancement, you know, when fulfill our missions, our divine missions in this lifetime. Amen, amen, amen. You can't go wrong with this one. All right, and one, two, three, you're fully grounded now back in the consciousness. Yes, uh, thank you. Um, oh God, this feels good, right? So don't forget to give me a thumbs up and, you know, and report about your experiences you know i answer all intelligent questions and give comments so take advantage of this so if you got a strong reaction from this one um, you know most likely you resonate with my style and i advise check out my other videos you know go through my uh, video library you know link is like below and then just um, you know, um, look at it and see, you know, what you get attracted to, what resonates with you. Yeah? And of course, if you resonate strongly, you know, with this guided meditation, and here I'm just shooting from the hip, you know, mm -hmm. shotgun, barrel, um, guided meditation. You know, uh, when we can focus directly, you know, onto your issues, talking to your high self, spirit guides, etc. That's, of course, you know, a whole other level. You know, and my prices, you know, I still, I keep them, you know, very reasonable. Very reasonable. So, you know, um, you know, it's worthwhile giving it a shot. So, um, drink a lot of water. If you get a headache, you probably have to drink more water. You know, take it easy. You know, no horror movie, have a metal concert. Or maybe even the supermarket. You know, you want to chill, maybe take a bath. Or maybe be in nature, be with the water. Uh, love you a long time. Namaste.